All right, today, Baltimore's police commissioner announced his strategy now to help stop the violence across the city. Essentially, what he wants to do is put more police in the high crime areas. And tonight, we're getting community reaction. WMER 2 News' Aaron McPherson talked with some of the people who live in these areas. Aaron? Commissioner Harrison says it's not just about putting more bodies on the streets, but making sure those officers really engage with people in those areas. And I talked with several people in the community today, and they tell me they hope that's true. Bernard Dutton keeps Maryland beautiful at his barber shop in East Baltimore. I'm a, I'm a resident of this city, and, and I would definitely like to see this crime alle alleviated. 151 murders so far this year. Since last weekend, more than a dozen people shot, seven of them killed, kind of difficult. causing the Baltimore Police Commissioner Michael Harrison to speak up. They're very often in the right places and at the right times, but violent crimes are being committed anyway, which speaks to a certain culture of violence where criminals do not fear any possible consequences. The commissioner says his department has been combing through crime data for weeks and found where the majority of violent crime is, called microzones. It's a, just a smart deployment strategy to use the data to dictate where we should be there and when we should be there. So they've been deploying officers to those areas for 20 minute foot patrols three times during their shift. <laughs> Something Dutton and his client Daniel Goodman have questions about. Is it really handling the issue or is the problem just moving on giving us the thought that, oh yes, it's being handled? Can you realistically move people around bodies where when you are having an issue with staffing. They're hopeful for change. That's good. But feel more <laughs> needs to be done. Absolutely. I already know. Commissioner Harrison says that they plan on reassessing and reevaluating this plan, this strategy as time goes on. Now, this is just one part of the crime reduction strategy they have to submit to the state by August. He says that strategy will be released to the public at a later date. Reporting live in Baltimore, Aaron McPherson, WMAR 2 News. Now, the Fraternal Order of Police released a statement in regards to those microzones applauding the police Thanks, department girlfriend. for trying but says it's just regurgitation of past efforts. The full statement is on our website at WMER2news.com. Commissioner Harrison responded, stating, true leadership cannot be swayed by negativity and opinions.